Hey there, little chicken nuggets. Me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey, there you are. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? <sighs> Nothing like the smell of fresh air and raccoon family digging through a pile of trash. Mmm, reminds me of home. Anywho, you know why I'm stretching? Well, two reasons. One, because stretching is very important. It prevents injuries and helps you do cool stuff like this. Ouch. And number two why stretching is super important is because I'm trying to get my body to get, to get ready for doing something really important. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I never thought I could do it. It's actually number 489 on my bucket list, right after winning a staring contest with a silverback gorilla. Ready to hear it? All right, well, I'm getting ready to jump out of a plane. <laughs> what was that? Carl, don't do it. Katie, what are you talking about? Don't jump out of a plane. You're supposed to stay inside them. Wait, I think you misunderstand. No, you don't understand. Jumping out of an airplane is a bad idea. Katie, I'm going skydiving. I don't care. Wait, what? That's what I was trying to tell you. I'm going skydiving today. So you're not just jumping out of a regular airplane then? <laughs> not anytime soon. But isn't that exciting? I'm going skydiving. Yeah, I guess it's pretty cool. I mean, I would never do it. I don't like heights. That's the thing. I'm terrified of heights. But it's always been a dream of mine. Really? Oh, yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I've dreamt of flying through the sky. And last night confirmed it for me. I need to chase my dreams. That's awesome. But what happened last night that made you want to do that? I read a story about Elisha and Elijah. Elijah and Elijah? How is that possible? No, Elisha and Elijah. Elisha and Elisha? Elisha and Elijah. You know the prophets from the Old Testament? Oh, Elijah and Elisha. Of course. Why didn't you say so? They were both prophets, right? Yeah, Elijah was a prophet during the time when most kings turned their backs against God. They were worshiping idols and mistreating their people. It was Elijah's job to receive messages from God and communicate it to everybody. Sounds like he had his hands full. So, what about the story that got you so motivated? Okay, so get this. Elijah had been a prophet a lot longer than Elisha. And because of that, and all that he had done, Elisha really looked up to him. That makes sense. So one day Elijah, a wild man of a prophet, told Elisha, his younger disciple, that God is going to be taking him away. Whoa. So, was he sick? Nope, but Elijah told Elisha that it's time to leave the earth and be with God in heaven. Okay, so was Elisha okay with that? He was, but he wanted to be with his friend as long as he could. Both Elijah and Elisha wanted to see people follow God again. So that's why in 2 Kings chapter 2, God tells Elijah to go to three different cities. But instead of letting Elijah go by himself, Elisha told him this, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. Wow, it seems like Elisha wanted to be just like Elijah. He did, so that's why he did what he did later in the story. So what did he do? Well, Elijah asked what he could do for Elisha before leaving him. And do you know what Elisha asked for? A horse. No, a birthday party. Wait, when is Elisha's birthday? Oh, did he ask for the ability to time travel? Katie, those all sound awesome, but no, no, and nope. Elisha asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. A double portion of his spirit? Like how we have double portions of food sometimes? No, not quite. It was more like Elisha was saying like, Hey, I love you and I, like, I love the work you've done. So like when you leave, I'd love to continue that work as long as God wants me to. Wow. But wasn't Elijah like this legendary prophet? And Elisha was just kind of starting out? It seems like a really big ask, you know? It was, and that's what got me so excited. Because even Elijah knew that was a lot to ask for. But God had big plans for Elisha. Elisha didn't let the pressure of measuring up to his friend stop him from dreaming big. Oh, I get it now. 
Elisha chose in that moment to dream big. I mean, wanting to be used by God the way that Elijah had been used is a really big dream. But I guess Elisha knew that with God's help, it would be possible. Yep, and when Elijah went up to heaven in a chariot of fire, now that's an exit, Elijah had left behind his cloak, which he used earlier to split the Jordan River in two. Elisha picked up the cloak, struck the water, and it split for him. That's how Elisha knew that God had given him what he asked for. So because Elisha's big dream to work for God came true, this story made you want to do the same? Exactly! But I don't get it. Elisha's big dream was to serve God and help people get back on track with God. Your dream is to just go skydiving. <laughs> well, you see, Katie, I'm not just going skydiving. The other day I was talking to my friend Andy, and he said he would love to go skydiving one day. I told him I would too, but I was too scared. I said, you could have paid me to go skydiving. Then Andy said that he would. He would what? Pay me! He said he would pay me a hundred dollars if I went skydiving. And that got me thinking, what if more people were like Andy? So I talked to a bunch of my friends and family, and if I actually go 13,000 feet in the air, jump out of a plane with a parachute, free falling through the sky, facing my greatest fear ever, well if I do all that, I'm going to raise a thousand dollars I can donate to someone in need. Wow, that's incredible. Well, Carl, I wish you luck. You and Elisha both have inspired me to dream bigger with God. So be safe and have fun. Yeah, I got my glasses. I got my camera. That's all I need. Oh, can't forget the parachute thing. Hey there kids, it's me, Sam. It is so good to see each and every one of you. I don't know about you, but I loved hearing about how Elisha wasn't afraid to dream big dreams for God. Which brings us to our big idea, which is, I can dream big with God. So let's say it extra loud so Carl could hear us way up in the sky. Are you ready? One, two, three. I can dream big with God. Excellent. So what do y'all think we check in on what Carl's up to? Would you like that? All right, let's go take a look. Ah! Oh! Ah! This is crazy! This is crazy! <laughs> wow! Looks like Carl followed through on his skydiving promise. How cool is that? I wonder who he'll donate all that money to. Who do you think Carl should help? Well, I can't wait to see what Carl does next week. Hope to see you there. Bye! Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of... Oh, TV!